Ever jumped in your old car? Tried to start it up. That dreaded noise. So, what I'm going to show you today, very quickly, is this new jump starter kit from Top Don. This is coming really useful over the last few months. So, really, really good if you've got an aging car that needs a jump start every now and then. So, let me show you how to use it. Take the kit outside the box. Remove the power leads. Take out the jump starter unit itself. So it's a 1200 amp jump starter unit. Really, really cool, really, really compact, really good to just keep inside the car. So this one I have used a few times, but let's just click the power icon to see how much charge is left. So you can see 75% and I've used it about four or five times over the last few months. So especially we've just come out of winter, so cars usually very good for getting flat, especially when I'm in there filming videos. So what we're gonna do now is connect the power cables to the unit. So you just flip open this tab and over on the right hand side here, you can see that's where the power cable connector from there is gonna go into. But just worth mentioning, you can also connect USB devices to this and deliver power to them as well. So it's a multi-purpose charger and there is also a LED function on there as well. So if I keep hold of it, you can see there, We've got a little torch function as well so gone are the days of those big heavy power bricks you can now literally just get something as compact as this uh, to do the job for you um, there is one extra feature on this so you see there's a dc outlet so if you buy a additional adapter you can literally plug that into there and you'll then be able to connect dc devices so 12 volt devices um, straight running off this charger really really cool stuff it is compact very compact all in one so let me just quickly show you how I'm going to jump the car. So you can see I've got the positive connected. What we're going to do right now is connect the negative terminal. Keep an eye on these status LEDs here. So it will warn you if you've connected it in the wrong direction. So if you've connected the negative to the positive or the positive to the negative. But what you should see in a second, as I clip onto it, You can see everything's on, it's the correct way around. So we're literally ready to go and crank the car. So let's give it a go. Right, back inside the car, everything looks alive, looks like it's got a good amount of power. Let's try crank it. Good job. 